uh, Jake, the next week you're out on TV talking to David Crockett and Bob Cottle about the screw job at the hands of the Andersons, and you've got an absolutely legendary partner there ready to back you up. Do you remember who that was by any chance? I don't know. You're there paired with Wahoo McDaniel. I mean, you know, you want to talk about a damn legend. Uh, you know, it's you've been jumping around from partner to partner here. Being paired with Wahoo, did it have you feeling a little bit more optimistic about being in a tag team? Damn right. Maybe yeah. like somewhere yeah man it's i mean look it's we can't really overstate how popular wahoo was and what a legend he was in this territory so i mean you know it's it's a huge huge thing for you to be paired with him this early in your run now i've heard some guys say that they like to be paired with established veterans uh but others say that they don't like it because that means that they have to adjust their style uh it's safe to assume that you were good with you know being paired here it was all right I'd still rather be in a singles match, though. Okay. You know, uh, Wahoo's great, great guy, great uh, partner, but it makes you fight that much harder to try to get over because everybody's watching him. And I don't imagine the Wahoo, like, you're clearly going to be the guy starting the match and taking all the bumps and then giving Wahoo the hot tag. Um, and I don't picture Wahoo being the one to get his shoulders pinned to the mat when you guys lose to the Andersons. So Thank <laughs> so you're coming in there doing all the work, and then at the end you're going to get pinned in all likelihood. Probably. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, you mentioned in our last Mid-Atlantic episode that Wahoo could be tough to work against because he'd hit you anywhere between your stomach and your face with those chops. Uh, um, how about teaming up with him a little bit better? Yeah, much better. You get to watch him brutalize people. <laughs> Is it you calling the matches or Wahoo or the Andersons or how would that go? Just a street fight. Okay, so it's you, you guys are just going out there throwing down. Yeah. Well, probably some pretty fun, believable stuff. There is no way that anybody but you is selling in a match where it's the Andersons and Wahoo McDaniel and you. Um, I mean, it's three legends and you're the new guy. What type of pressure would that put on you to perform? Made me fight for my life. And uh, it was good for me. It was good for me. So you felt like that was a, a good learning circumstance for you? Sure, sure it was. I had to fight from underneath and come out and it's still not, I had to constantly escape things that they're doing to me. Mm. And when you do that, it makes you stronger. You understand? Yes. So they had me, they had me in the corner. I'd escape out of the corner, but I wouldn't make the tag. You know, I let them get, get me back. And I'd escape again. Somehow, some way. Maybe they'd slam me. They'd go to drop an elbow. I'd roll. See, I've escaped again. I got to my feet, but damn it, I can't make that tag because he's got me blocked. So, that, that was the lesson. So, you're doing like all the bumps and in all likelihood taking the pinfall, but you're still coming out of this looking very strong. Yeah, yeah. 